Yeah. No, this is your first film. This is my first film, yeah. That mic up a bit. Oh, sorry. I was here a few years ago with a short um, called Little Dad, and then this is my first feature. That's really exciting. Yeah. So, Ben, you play a teenager who's dealing with a mom who's kind of fallen apart at the seams, played yeah. by Mira Sorvino. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're dealing with life in a very, I'd say, in a very privileged setting. Yeah. But that's all, that's really doesn't feel very privileged to you, right? So tell us a yeah, little bit about your character and tell us about the story of the film because our the guys, uh, people out there watching, haven't been able to see it. So tell us the story. Yeah, I play Clark Raymond. He's a San Francisco native. He's a teenager. Uh, his mom is addicted to pharmaceutical drugs, and then she basically relapses. And his dad's sort of emotionally distant, and he's fed up with home life, so he uh, he runs away and he tries to find his own home. So he's certainly dealing with a lot of issues. He's, uh, he's sort of like a ruthlessly pragmatic guy, um, going where he can, uh, yeah. finding wherever he can go. So yeah, yeah. And Morgan, tell us about your character. Yeah. Um, well, I play Natalia, and I am uh, Clark's wonderfully accepting girlfriend. Um, basically. Um, I allow him to stay, well, my mother allows him to stay with us for a period of time uh, while we're dating, and um, we sort of offer him a sort of second home, uh, really a, a first home, actually, yeah. and he really attaches himself to my mother um, because, of course, you know, his mother is dealing with her issues, and, um, it's definitely yeah. a surrogate family. Yeah, yeah. it's, and, um, yeah, things sort of go down from there, but, you know, while, while it's there, we have a really great relationship, and um, I sort of figure out who Clark really is mm -hmm. as he's staying with us. Mm -hmm. So, no, tell us about what's the genesis of the story, and um, yeah. is it personal to you, or is it something it is, that... You know, it's uh, funny writing, and it didn't feel quite as personal as it felt when I was sitting in the edit room, and all of a sudden was w watching this footage, and wow. it felt extremely familiar. Wow. My writing partner and I grew up together in San Francisco and went to high school together, mm -hmm. uh, and had been writing a lot separately, but talking a lot about high school and how intense that time was, and you're in constant conflict with your peers, with your teachers, with your parents, and we really wanted to write a movie about that, uh, about that time and had this question of what happens if you approach relationships more pragmatically. Mm -hmm. Like Ben said, if they're not working, you just ax them. And as a kid, it even kinda, if it's your mom, even if it's your mom, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as a teenager, but, but it you seems, can't, yeah. It seems almost feasible to, and it seems kind of lazy to accept these things that don't work. And as you, you know, with Clark, we see him do that, and it doesn't prove great results. Yeah. Um, and I think it's about Clark learning to tolerate some disappointment, some difficult relationships, and how to, you know, how to grow up and deal with complicated relationships. Well, I mean, I think you do a really good, you do a really good job of interpreting the character. But I mean, we've seen, we used to see sort of all the time kind of coming of age stories and coming into your own stories. But the truth is, we don't really see those stories quite so much anymore. And so it's in in, in a funny way, it's refreshing to have Great. that kind of. Um, personal story that that's you know narrow but also relates to every young person's experience of right. what they're dealing with right. when they're as growing up as specific as it is it's universal too